guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new my name is Tori and this is at home with Tori in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a budget notebook I actually have two to review for you and some cash envelopes sent to me from clever Fox so if you are familiar with budgeting channels on YouTube you might have seen some people review the clever Fox budget planner or even just the clever Fox planner I had never seen anyone review the budget planner, but I have seen them review the regular planner. Well, Clever Fox actually reached out to me and they wanted me to review their budget book and their budget planner. And they actually wanted me to review their cash envelope system as well. So I will be reviewing all three of these things for you and I wanted to make sure that you stay tuned for the details on a wonderful giveaway that they are going to be sponsoring. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so once again, I am going to be reviewing for you guys the budget planner, the budget book, and the cash envelope system that Clever Fox sent to me. Real quick, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Clever Fox for reaching out to me and giving me this opportunity to review these planners for all of you guys and also just for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for allowing me to do something that I love to do, which is budget and getting to share those wonderful things with all of you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this budget planner. So first I just wanna say that the selection for these planners, the color choices are just amazing. They have 11 colors to choose from. I'm just gonna go through them real quick with you guys. They have black, gold, lavender, which is what this one is, mint green, moss green, orange, peach pink, purple, rose gold, royal blue and turquoise. These colors are just gorgeous guys. Like, and they're so bright and it just, I don't know, it makes me happy when I pull this out. So it gives me even more of a reason to budget. <laughs> so I love that already just from the very beginning. But this is the budget planner. It is an undated monthly budget planner and it lasts for one year. This is the A5 size. This is like, I guess the bigger size a little bit. Um, Cause in comparison to this one, it is a little bit bigger. I love the Fox on the front. I think it's so pretty. I just love their design. And if I take this off, like you can just see the, the actual planner itself, I think it's just gorgeous. And it's a very like faux leather, very smooth feel to it. It comes with a little strap so that you can keep everything all together. And it also has a little pen holder, which I think is very handy for having a budget planner, especially if you're gonna take it with you. So I love that when you open up this budget planner, you it comes with a little like how to use the budget planner for anyone who's kind of new to the whole budgeting idea. So that's very helpful. If you watch my videos, you know that I normally do paycheck to paycheck budgeting, but I have mentioned that I wanted to start doing an um, overall budget for the month. And this is where this little planner is going to come in handy. So I'll just kind of walk you through some of the pages so that you get a feel for what it looks like. So it has a little title page where it says, if you find this, then you can put your info in here and people can happily return it to you. It even has a place where you can put your reward, so that's kind of cool. Um, the first page that you see on this planner is my financial goals. I actually think that this is a really cool idea because you can physically write down some of your goals. So maybe it's getting out of debt or maybe it's saving for a new car or saving for a house or you know whatever your financial goals may be, whether big or small, you can write them down here and it has a place for up to 10 goals. It has a little place over here that's a dot grid and you can kind of put whatever you want in this place. This is kind of just a place to flesh out anything that's going on in your mind as far as goals or frustrations or anything that you want to change about the way that your financial journey is going. You can write it out right there. The next page shows my strategy and my tactics. And this just says new skills that I need to learn to achieve those financial goals that you wrote on the previous page. And then this is actions that I will take to earn more money. So again, these are just kind of fleshing out some ideas that you may be going through in your head to try to get yourself back on track financially. The next page is saving tracker and it has saving for how much you need and the due date. And then you can write down when you deposit things and then what your balance is. So that's a really cool way to keep track of your savings. The next page is gonna be a debt tracker and it's basically just the same thing. You can say the debt name, the starting balance, minimum payment, and then how much you paid and when you paid it and your balance. 
this is gonna come in handy for me. <laughs> if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that we are in debt and I'm trying as hard as I can to get out of it. So this will be nice to have to be able to track that debt. So this gets into the monthly budget. So again, this planner is completely undated, so you can start it whenever, you can finish it whenever, and it is good for one full year. So you put the month and the year at the top of the planner so that you know what you're working on. It has goals up here just specifically for this month. It has a checklist that you can write things down on. You can do um, your income right here, your savings amount, and then it has like a little calendar that you can actually write in the date so that you have like a mini calendar to glance at. Over here is the monthly budget and looking over this, I'm really liking the way this is laid out because it gives you extra spaces because nobody's budget is exactly the same. So I kind of like that a lot actually. And then it, over here on the side, it actually tells you like the category of those expenses. So like your mortgage, insurance, all of your bills, like your main bills all fall under housing. So I adjusted my lighting just a little bit. So it has eight categories and that's housing, personal, food, loans, health, entertainment, transportation, and other. And each category will give you a little subtotal and then you can write the total budgeted amount, the total actual amount, and the difference. I had someone ask me in a previous video what the difference was between a budgeted amount and an actual amount. And it's literally just, you want to budget off of your base income. So if you have a net income that you normally bring home without any overtime or any extra side hustles or anything like that, that's what you want to make your base income. And that's going to be your budgeted income. So the difference would be is that once you actually get your paycheck and maybe you had some overtime or maybe you had some side hustles or something like that, that will be your actual income. So you want to track both of those so that you can see how much you're spending, how much you're actually getting paid, and then to know the difference so that you can make adjustments. This is one of my favorite things about this planner is that it does have an expense tracker. And this is the one thing that I usually tell people to start with whenever you're just starting out budgeting. It's writing down your expenses. This would be, and it was for me, a huge eye opener to see where your money is going. Using a highlighter method where you actually have a color for each category of spending makes it even easier to track because then you can glance at something. And like for me, I know that if something is written in blue, then I know it's part of our food category. If it's written in orange, I know it's part of our utilities. So just having an idea of how your money gets spent makes a huge difference on your spending habits. So there's one, two, three, four pages of that. And then there is a monthly budget review. So then this is really nice too because it gives you a chance to look over the difference between last month and this month. And then it gives you like some motivational stuff at the end too. It says my biggest win this month was, did I meet my budget? If not, why not? Did I achieve this month's goal? If not, why not? This is what I learned this month by tracking my expenses and I will do this within one month to improve. So those are really good things to kind of check in with yourself to see what you're doing with your finances, where your money's going, what, what did it go to? What is important in your life? Because whatever's important in your life, that's where your money's gonna go to. This again is another dot grid page that is just to write notes on and then it starts all over. I really, really like the layout of this one. And then if you flip back to the back of the notebook, you get to the Christmas budget. So I like this. That for my family has been one of the biggest credit card expenses that we would put on our credit cards every single year without fail. So this year I have a sinking fund and I'm really excited about it because that means we won't be using our credit cards for Christmas gifts. This is all the stuff that you might need to actually spend for Christmas. And of course it has plenty of room for more to add. So it has like gifts, wrapping paper, groceries, decorations. So it, it's not just for Christmas presents, it's also for like hosting or, you know, if you have to take food to someone else's house for Christmas, it gives you that right there too. And then this is for Christmas gifts. And you can actually write down who you're gifting, what it was, how much you budgeted for, and the actual amount. And then this is just Christmas spending. So anything you actually spent, it's kind of like this expense tracker, you can track it right here. The next page gives you a summary of the year and it gives you the categories right here that you can add up total. And if, if you have any extra, it gives you plenty of room to write those. You can write the months up here 
and then the income amounts and the savings amounts. And then right down here, it shows you the total expenses. So this is a, co a good way to look and just glance at the end of the year to see how you did with your money for that year. And then it gives you one, two, three more pages of dot grid paper just to write down any other extra notes that you might have. And this actually comes with a folder right here to be able to put any receipts or anything like that. And then it also comes with some stickers and who doesn't love stickers? These are really cute and I love, again, they have like the really bright colors and I just love them. They have some motivational ones down here that says, if you change nothing, nothing will change. Make it happen, work for it little by little. Never spend your money before you have it. That is such good advice and I feel like we can all be a little guilty of that sometimes. So that is the budget planner. Now I want to show you guys the budget book. I got this one in rose gold and this one's a little bit different. This one actually has a cute little design on the cover whereas this one's just blank. This one actually has a design and of course that cute little clever fox right in the middle. And this one again comes with the pocket and the stickers back here. And I think these stickers are, no, these are different. Okay, cool. So they are a little bit different. And I don't know if they're like this on all of them, but all these little stickers are rose gold colored. I don't know if that's because that's the planner that I picked, but I think that's really cute. But it also gives you some um, monthly stickers as well. So again, when you open this front page, it is going to be, it, they do give you a how to use this Clever Fox budget book. And... I think I just think I think that's so handy for people that have not ever budgeted before. It gives you kind of like an idea of how to use these pages. So once again, they give you the if this book gets lost, please return it here. And then this one jumps right into the budget. So this one you have again, it's completely undated, just like the last one was. And then you have this month's goals, your checklist, upcoming purchases and upcoming bills income and savings. And then on here, it's completely blank. So this gives you absolutely like a blank slate to work with as far as your expenses goes. This would be good for anybody that really likes to do things on their own without any extra help like this other planner can give you. This gives you category expense, your budgeted amount, your actual, your difference. And then down here it says total income, total expenses, balance, and total savings. So this is good for anyone who likes a clean start, clean slate to, to be able to put in whatever they want to put in. Again, it has an expense tracker. Oh, it has more. That's nice. So it has four pages of expense tracker, which will be nice for me because I feel like we use a lot of our expense tracker, which is not a good thing, but we do. We're working on our spending. <laughs> and then it goes straight into the dot grid paper, and there's two pages of that at the end of each month. This one also is a one year planner. So there should be 12 months of tracking. Let's see if I can get to the next section of it. Okay, so you have to flip pretty far back to the back of this book to get to the next section, which is going to be the savings tracker. So the savings tracker, again, is just gonna be for anything that you want to save for. So it'd be like where you would put your sinking funds. You can put the date how much you put in and the total saved. And then up here, of course, it tells you what you're saving for, how much you need and when you need it by. So there's one, two, three, four pages and two on each page. So there's eight places to put those savings trackers. And then it goes on to a debt tracker, which is pretty much the same thing, but it's gonna be whatever debt you have, your starting balance, your minimum payment, how, when you paid it, how much you paid and your balance. And there's gonna be one, two, probably four of those as well. Yes, four of those as well. Then you move on to the regular bill tracker. This is going to be where you put your bills that you pay every single month. So you write what month it is at the top across here, and then you write what bills you have. So say for example, you wrote January here, and then you wrote your mortgage, your insurance, your tithe, all of these bills down here, and then you write the total. So that's gonna be a quick glance of what you spent on your bills for the year. This one is gonna be a summary of the year. It shows the month up here, your income, expenses, difference in savings, and then it will show your categories so you can track your progress for the entire year and show you at a glance how much you spend in what categories. And then you're going to have, so I think there's 11 pages of dot grid paper for you to write any kind of notes or anything like that along the way. So the next thing is gonna be the Clever Fox envelope budgeting system. 
This is really cute. I like this bag. I think it's nice so that it's kind of like a wallet, but you don't have to worry about all the other things that you could bring in. It's just gonna hold your budget envelopes. And from what I read, this is supposed to be waterproof as well to keep your budget envelopes nice and dry if they were to ever get exposed to water. When you first open it up, you're gonna see this little page right here. And this just basically is an overview of the whole year, just like with the other things. So you write your categories down here and then you write your expenses for the month right there. And then you will write your monthly total down here. So this is just gonna be an overview of the entire year, just to be able to look at at a glance. With these, these are the budget sheets. So this is gonna be what you put with each envelope and it is basically just a tracker. It's on both sides, and what you're gonna do is put one of these with each of your envelopes, and you can just stick it down in it. It'll fit down inside of your budget envelope, and that way you can track your spending. So this will show you, like, maybe you went to Walmart, so you can write down on October 1st, we went to Walmart, we spent this amount, and this is how much we have left. So that's going to be, I think you have as many of these as you do envelopes and they actually sent me 12 envelopes which I thought was awesome and once again they have these beautiful bright colors on the envelopes this is kind of like what their color choices are I didn't see a red one that may be the extra one but anyway this is very similar to what the choice colors are for their planners so they have a wonderful color palette in my opinion I just I think it makes it all the difference to to be able to be joyful when you look at things like this because money can be such a tough subject to work with and it seems to always get people down, but finding a way to bring joy to that subject really helps your outlook on it so that it's not such a troubling event. Like you look forward to being able to take control of your money and to budget it and to get out of debt and do those things. So just a little opinion there, but um, I love that they're I love that they're colored because they're just so pretty and bright and they make me want to budget my money. <laughs> if you've watched my videos, you'll know how to use budgeting envelopes. Um, and that's what I would recommend for you guys to do if you're starting fresh with my channel is to watch some previous videos, which I will link one right up here so that you can know exactly how to use these envelopes. It's giveaway time. Clever Fox is so great to sponsor this video and to also host a giveaway for me. So if you would like to win one of these things for yourself, I'm going to tell you how you can do that right now. So the criteria for this giveaway is that you have to be following my Instagram account and you have to be following their Instagram account, which is at Clever Fox Planner. I will link both of those right there um, so you guys can look those up. You have to be following those accounts. You have to be U.S. residents due to shipping issues and constraints. You have to be over the age of 18 to win this giveaway. And you have to comment under this video and tell me which one of these things you would like to win. Um, whether it be the budget planner, the budget book, or the cash envelope system. So let me know what you guys would like. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel as well. There are going to be two winners for this giveaway. One will win one of these two things and the other one will win a cash envelope system. So make sure to tell me which one you would prefer. And this giveaway will run until the end of October. So on October 31st, 2019 at 11.59 p.m. will be the last time that you can enter this giveaway. I will pick a winner on November 1st. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure you follow my Instagram and Clever Fox on Instagram so that you don't miss any of the important updates, you don't miss any of my videos, and you don't miss us announcing the winner. Thank you again so much to Clever Fox for sponsoring and sending me these wonderful goodies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Again, remember to watch the special part about the giveaway so you know how to enter. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so by hitting that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!